Hello and welcome to this E4Clicks Project Estimator training video. Today, we're going to be searching through your RS Means Guides. Specifically, we're going to learn how to use the index to find line items in RS Means Guides that we want. Okay, we're going to start the video here on the Line Items tab of the Updating Estimate window. Remember how to get to the Updating Estimates window, we can check out some of our other videos. But we basically found the project that we wanted in our list, double-clicked on it to open it. And then from the Estimates tab of our Updating Project window, we found the estimate we wanted, double-clicked on it, and it opened up the Updating Estimate window to the Line Items tab. Now we're going to right-click and use our top option, Open Default Guide. So we're going to open up the 2012 RS Means Facility. And again, if any of that is unclear to you, please check out other, our other videos. When we open the 2012 RS Means Facilities, it's one of the most common books we could use, we can see that we've got almost 300,000 line items. If we know the exact number of our line item, we could type that in and go directly there. If we don't, however, if you're human like me, we're going to use some search utilities to look for different words, some keywords basically to find our line items, all right? So if we did know the number, we could type 09050520, for example, to find selective demolition of flooring. However, I have all the numbers memorized, and you probably don't either, so let's check out some of the other search utilities. In this case, this specific video, we're going to look for the index. Now, how do you think we open up the index? This might shock you, but if in doubt, we're going to right-click. With search utilities, which we call a cascading menu options here, because it has a little arrow, which means there's other menu options below it, contained within it. So if we hover over search utilities, it'll open that up, and we can see a list of search utilities. The top one here is the index. If we click on that, it'll open up the guide index window, which we'll explore in a second. Now, this is for so we want to make you as quick as possible. If we don't want to be right-clicking and go into search utilities and go into index each time, we can notice that there's a little control plus I over here to the right of our index command. This is basically a hotkey. So let's go back over here. If our focus is on the line items here, what we can do is hold the control key down on the keyboard and then press the I button. It then release it. The guide index window then opens up and we can get to work, all right? Now, if you prefer the mouse over hotkeys, we also have some toolbar icons up here. One of them, if we look close, has a little A and B in it, and it's our index. If we rest over it, we can see a little tool tip called index. And if we take a little hint right there next to it, we see one with a little plus sign, for more advanced users, this allows us to actually add a line item to our index. All right. So if we click the index button there, it's going to go ahead and open the guide index window as well. So let's actually use this index, shall we? All right. When we open up our guide index, our focus is down here in the items in the index. Now. To use the index, we do not have to click into the locate field. See the locate field up here? We actually can just start typing, and it'll auto increment through our list of index entries. Let's try this out. It's pretty sweet. It makes you be real fast. So if we type in C, O, V, we can see that we're on code base. And we didn't even have to type the whole word out. It went straight to code base and, and auto increment for us. This is especially handy for words like bituminous and fluorescent and sink, those, those kind of items. All right, now how do we clear out the locate field? If we use the backspace key on the keyboard, that'll take away one letter at a time. If we move to our list with the up and down arrow keys, that will clear out our locate field entirely. So we never even have to use the mouse to do that if we didn't want to. All right? Now, what if we do actually click into the locate field? It's not wrong. It just takes a little bit longer. So now we can see that the focus has been changed to the locate field. And if we type cove base, notice 
that our list of index entry items hasn't been updated. We did not auto increment in this case because we actually have to leave this locate field. So if we press the tab key on the keyboard over on the left side of your keyboard, this will leave that field and jump to a different field. And what that'll do is it'll update our index entries. And we can see now that we're on code base. OK? So it's not wrong. It just takes a little bit longer. So if we get proficient with this, we can use the up and down arrow key and just start typing. Use the up and down arrow key again. And then we can go to different entry items very quickly without having to use our mouse if we don't want to. OK? So that's the locate field. Let's check out the other field up here, and that's the query field. All right? This is going to allow us to look for multiple partial words, and then it will show us the results of only those entry items that actually have both or all of the words that we enter. Okay? So we do have to click into this field. So this time, let's type C-O-V space E-A-S. Now, if we press the tab key on the keyboard again, that's going to leave that field. And what it's going to do is it's going to update our list of entries here and show us only those entries that have both COV and BAS in them. All right? Pretty powerful. Pretty nice. Now, how do we actually go to a line item in the book? Okay? So what we can do is click on an entry to grab the one that we want. Or we can use our up and down arrow keys to find the entry that we want. And once we do this, we can look at the bottom. There's an information panel down here that shows us the line item number that this entry item is pointing to, as well as the actual description of that line item. So you could use that to help us find the line item that we want. All right? Once we found the line item we want, we can hit Enter on the keyboard. We could double-click on the entry we want. We could right-click and select the Go to Line Item command, or we could click on the index button and find that same command, go to line item. When we do that, we are then taken to the book, and we can see that we're on the line item that we were pointed to, the resilient code base. Okay? Now, a super nice thing about our index is we can actually open it back up using our toolbar icon, our key, what is it? Control I, or through our right click menu options. And what it'll do is it'll bring up our guide index window. What it has, what has actually happened is the index is waiting behind us right where we left it off. It's what's called a sticky window. So if we needed to find a different item close to it, we could easily jump there in the book, or we could just go and look for other items if we wanted to. All right? Hey, I hope that makes sense. That's the index. So check out some of our other videos if you want to learn some of the other search utilities. But definitely please see our other training videos or give us a call if you need any help. Thanks and have a great day.